Good morning. Green is here. It's real. It's not about global warming. Oops. It's really all about doing more with less. You know, so it's about doing it economically sound and reducing the waste that we have out there. Information technology, your tools of trade, use lots of energy, and they're pretty toxic when you actually look at disposing of them. And we've got to think about the whole life cycle. Australian electricity <laughs> uses more carbon than almost anywhere else in the world. It's about 1,000 grams per kilowatt in New South Wales, 1,300 in Victoria. In Brazil, it's about 50. For every 1,000 PCs in Australia, we actually need to use about 600 odd megawatt hours of electricity, and we put out almost 700 tons of CO2. In Victoria, it's about 1,000 tons. And we waste 50 to 60% of this. So it's axiomatic that if you reduce your wasted electricity from your PCs, you will save money and you will reduce your footprint. But how much? Okay, well, the reason why we've been having trouble as a you know, society looking at this problem carefully is because you know, PCs use a big chunk of enterprise electricity, not necessarily the home, but in enterprises it's about 40%. And IT people focus on the electricity that they use in the data center, because they got their own meter sitting outside that does the chilling, the cooling, and the servers. But if you look at the waste in that big 40% number, it's almost equal in total to the total data center electricity use. But the bills are actually not being paid by IT, they're being paid by other people. So if you look at an Australian city council, 74% of the electricity is being wasted. A Malaysian, um, Large scientific organization, 66%. And a really efficient, green, Australian industrial enterprise, 58% of the electricity used by their PCs is being wasted. We've done about 100 deployments since about a year and two months ago. It is a truly global product. PCs and laptops are global and electricity is global. Sales cycles do take a while. It's three to nine months for the big ones, but it's not an IT sale. It's actually really about triple bottom line. You save money, you save carbon, and you actually change the behavior of the people working in the company. But it has a hard payback of six to nine months, which is outstanding for anything to do with green. And we expect a big boost from Windows 7 deployments because now your computers are likely to come back from sleep and hibernate. So why is it so complicated? Number one, you got lots of different computers out there. Number two, the people paying the bill for the PC electricity have no say in how things are done. Number three, the fleets we have out there have got lots of legacy issues. How long does it take a Westpac or a Telstra computer to boot up in the morning if you shut it down at night? 15 or 17 minutes. Okay, that's a bloody long time for our best and brightest. They struggle with this. And all companies can actually things, do things with power management, but it generally doesn't work because power management on PCs needs to deal with the very personal nature of PCs and the fact that you're trying to save maybe 15, 20, 22 cents a day per user but you don't want to alienate them because you, know, you make them waste five minutes of their time, those 22 cents are more than gone. So where did the idea for Green Track come from and why is it different? If you look at the top left, you'll see stuff to do with Target 140 in Queensland. In Southeast Queensland, when they were running out of water, they'd increase prices, put in restrictions on all of that stuff. Water consumption was about 240 liters per person per day. So they said to everyone, guys, the dams are below 10%, we've got to do something. Signs on all the major highways, all the roads, and nightly news saying Target's 140, today we're at 192. And guess what? They actually moved it down to about 140. Turns out 140 is a bit too low. Everyone's moved to 150 or 155. But today, Southeast Queensland, this is July 2010 numbers, it's about 150 odd liters per person per day. So they are taking shorter showers. They aren't wasting the money and the water on the lawns and washing their uh, you know, cars and so on. They changed their behavior. And that's what we do here. You can do this, you know, you can do it at a personal level, and you've got two strategies. One is to beat people up with power management, imposed centrally. <laughs> Number two is engage with people to help them save this stuff. People don't like hardcore control because this is the 21st century. And IT people, unfortunately, don't trust people because the first question they ask you when you call the help desk is, hey, is your computer plugged into the wall? Okay. So we said, let's combine these two things, and to combine them, we need rocket science. And we use rocket science so you can work out how much electricity these computers are using every minute across the whole company. It's not a better mouse trap. It actually tells you how many rodents you got in your house downstairs, what the state of repair of your gutters and your doors and your access points are. And it tells you on your phone, hey, two rats just walked into your house in the basement. Go deal with it. 
Okay, it's very efficient, it's very smart, it's very high tech. We've put about seven million bucks of our own money into this, and it's got lots of smarts. So yeah, thank you. Thank you.